Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a different setup. I'm actually in my room this time. Don't get me wrong, the setup at Johnson's house is cool and all, but it just doesn't feel like this is more the vibe. You know, for this time, it's just, I don't know, it's more homey and I have everything here. Because last time I tried to record at his house and I forgot like half of my stuff, so. So my last video was recorded back in June and this is my new updated version of my makeup routine because some things did change. <laughs> Even though I swore in that video that they weren't gonna change. And this time my face is actually all clear, there's nothing on it, so I'm gonna start off with my brows. Also, all of the products that I'm using are linked down on my Amazon shop. I try to make it easy for you guys and just put it there. I have all my shades and everything there. So I don't have to be like, you know, product by product every single time, but I'm still going to mention them. And then whatever products that I couldn't get on Amazon, I'm going to put like the actual name and everything right here. So for my brows, I'm going to start by brushing them. And I still use this little marker thing. It's by CoverGirl. Now to shape them and conceal, I'm going to go in with this CoverGirl concealer. So yesterday I went on my Instagram story and I asked you guys what you guys wanted me to cover for this video just to get some ideas. So I made a little list of everything. So first I'm gonna start off with relationship. The most commonly asked question is how me and Jonathan met. It's a long story, but I'm gonna try to shorten it up as much as I can. My quinta was coming up, you know, and I was starting to plan everything and obviously I had to plan the chamberlanes. Now, at that time, I didn't really talk to many people. So I was just like asking random people at that point. Um, obviously like my family members and like my really close friends were first. I got all six, I believe because it's seven, right? I got all six and I needed one more and I had completely run out of options. For the top of my brows, I go in with this Fenty Beauty Foundation. But yeah, I had ran out of options and at that time Jonathan worked in construction with my grandpa because he has a company. And I didn't know who Jonathan was like at all. I think I probably knew him like on Instagram, probably one of his page once or twice because he'd get mentioned a lot. But I didn't know him like at all. And my grandpa was like, oh yeah, I know this guy that he's a really good dancer. He's like around your age. I can ask him if you want. You know, and I was desperate at that point. I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. As long as he can dance. That's all I cared about. And he asked him and they were just saying a Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. You know, but I didn't know who it was. I asked for his last name and I think that's how I found him on Instagram. And then I DM'd him. I was like, hey, I was like, I don't know if my grandpa asked you but this and that, do you want to be my quinta, this, whatever, I just need one more chamberlain. And he was like, who's in it, this and that. You know, I was like, whatever. Keep in mind, I never talked to this man in my life until the first day of my first practice. And then practice just started going, and he was low-key flirting. Like, he, he says he wasn't, but, like, he was a little player. And, you know, me, I was young and naive. I just folded or whatever. And then eventually he started, he told me how he felt. After a couple months of talking, you know, we were just getting closer and closer. He told me that he wanted to make me his girlfriend. So at the time, he already drove and everything, you know, he was pretty mature for his age. And my mom found out that I liked him and she didn't look the idea for it. She did not support. She's like, no, she acts, he acts to grown, this and that. So around the time that he wanted to ask me out, he asked my mom for permission first. And she was like, you can. She was like, but you need to wait at least six months because she just turned 15 she's still small this and that but whole time my mom had this plot you know and she told me she was like if he if he really likes you this and that he's gonna wait the six months if not blah, blah, blah. she was just like so this is like a little test for me fast forward to the six months he asked me out when we went on this little lake trip with my family and yeah fast forward to three years and a half and we are together okay guys i think this is it for my eyebrows they look all right okay i'm gonna move on to my foundation now I know, I know, it's it's tired. It's on its last breath, but it's gonna be enough. And someone said key to a healthy relationship. I covered this in my last one, I'm pretty sure. I mentioned how boundaries are mm, probably the most important thing out of everything. In my opinion, I think that there's three main factors that you have to master. If not, it will not work. One, boundaries. Two, commitment. And three, communication. Now with boundaries comes respect. So you know, it's kind of the same thing. Respect each other, respect your boundaries because if not arguments, arguments, arguments are gonna happen and those arguments are gonna lead to breakups. Commitment is important because a spark does die. It does die off, okay? And it happened with me and Jonathan. I feel like it happens with every relationship after a certain amount of time. I mean, we were together for like two years when it happened. But the spark did kind of start to wear off and you know that's where communication came in and we both told each other how we felt the moment and then we agreed, we came to agreement, we're like okay we're gonna put in more of the work, we're gonna go more on dates, we're gonna do more of this and that. We kept our word 
and a couple months fast forward the spark was back there and stronger than ever okay i think the primer set in and i'm gonna go in with my foundation sorry i just like letting it leak it's all never mind <clears throat> what was i saying the spark dies off so that's where the commitment part really matters like you have to literally set your mind like this is my only person if you start looking somewhere else you start looking at other people you're fucked you're done just because the spark is dead doesn't mean the relationship has to be dead this wasn't a question but i would do want to touch on this because oh i am so strict with these and i wish everybody around me listened to me but you know people will be people just as thick as they are i am too high standards yeah Y'all need to have high standards, please. Listen, I was not a high standards bitch before I was with Jonathan. But he brought the high standards all by himself, you know what I mean, without me asking. Like, I was settling for the bare minimum. I feel like every single girl in this universe deserves high standards. Like, no matter what. Everybody does. If you're not getting your just because flowers. <laughs> if he's not trying on dates. When you don't experience those type of details and that type of effort, you settle for the bare minimum. And that type of effort is like just in the books or just in the movies. You know what I mean? When it's really not. If he doesn't get his act together after you ask him, then he just doesn't want to. He won't. And you know, that that's the harsh reality. As much as you want him to, if he doesn't want to, he literally won't. So if you're not getting all those gifts you see on social media from other perfect couples, you better tell him. Tell him something. Another question I got is managing school and relationships. This one was interesting to me because if you guys don't know, while me and Jonathan were in high school, we went to two different schools for all four years. We started talking like in the middle of my freshman year, middle or end, somewhere around there. So it was his sophomore year because he's a year older. I wasn't really tough to me because he's just such a reserved person. You know, like I never had to worry about him talking to other girls or stuff like that. He was never in like school drama, but I know not every guy is like that. If he was, you know, like friendly, over here, friends with everyone, like I probably, it probably wouldn't have worked. There probably would have been more problems than there was. I think I only had one problem and it was my junior year, but it was not his fault and I had to step in. You know, I'm not gonna go into detail because it was really not that deep. But it did involve another girl and, you know, her trying to talk to him and all this. So, listen, I'm not a messy person, okay? I've never gotten into altercations with anybody. I've never been in a fight. The last argument besides that one, my junior year, was, like, back in middle school. Like, argument, not even fight. I never had a physical fight. I never really saw myself as a confronting person until that happened. Oof, y'all, I ran to her DMs. Honestly, I forgot about it. We ended up on bad terms or whatever, but it stopped. You know, my point went across. And that was the only time I ever really had a little problem with that in school and all if you're going to different schools Especially you both have to really really be loyal like y'all have to hold it down Another question I got is do we see each other in our future? Yes <laughs> We are Locked in like we're to the point where we have a future planned, you know, and it's together So I would say, you know, we do see each other in our future I personally and I know he does too. I don't see a future without him at this point Okay guys, this is the concealer I use now. This is a new one. It's kind of pricey, but it's really worth it. Concealers are super important to me. I don't know why. I think it's because I have these eye bags. Okay, so the next topic I'm gonna move into is careers. Um, I got asked two questions about this. Someone asked how social media life is and do I plan on sticking to it? I started off TikTok as just, you know, just a normal TikTok account. I didn't have like, you know, the, my goal wasn't ever to blow up. I didn't see myself doing that. But you know, as time passed, I got more and more attention. Super blessed, loved you all. I feel like at this point, I would maybe consider myself an influencer just because I've, I don't know. Like people try to call me that when I had like 300K or something, but I didn't consider myself that because my life outside of social media was it was the same nothing changed but now i'm definitely getting more recognized at first it'd be like one or two people you know like here and then i still remember the first person that ever came up to me and jonathan we were at great lake smalls this one mall close to me we were getting food we were in line to get food or something yeah at a beyond and then this girl came up to us keep in mind before this we like peeped people staring and pointing and like talking you know we were like oh that's crazy you know like that was already a lot for me but then that was the first time that someone actually came up to us. It was, I forgot her name, but I still have the picture. It was this girl who came up and then she was like, oh my God, are you guys from TikTok? This and that, can we take a picture? And you know, we were like, 
a picture like oh, like you actually want me in your camera roll <laughs> Yeah, after that, we did not shut up about it. I even made a whole TikTok about it. I just saw it the other day. It's still on my account. To set my concealer, I go in with these e.l.f. powders. Um, now, you're probably wondering why I have two. And the question is because this... Two? And the question is because this... Answer? Babe, do you mean answer? Where's my English tutor for a middle school? Her job is clearly not done. And the question is because this one's too dark and this one's too light. I used to have the perfect shade. Um, and then it broke and I tried to find a new one, but like I didn't remember the shade. I'm so dumb I know what I do is I mix these together and they work out fine So just make sure you have your shade. I'm gonna set it with this little what they're called I forgot they're called pointy sponges. I don't know I had a couple people come up to me here in Michigan where I'm at like in different malls and different places on my TikTok, I can check where most of my followers are from and majority, like a big, big amount, they're from Houston. I saw that there was still a small percentage in Dallas. You know, like, okay, we might get noticed here and there. And we were like, if we do, that's going to be crazy. We got recognized way more than I expected. And it was insane. I'm going to go in with this one first. But yeah, that was like crazy. Literally everywhere we went, like everywhere. And I don't mean to sound like, you know, cocky or nothing, but... It, that's just how crazy it was and I feel like ever since I've gotten even more recognized here in my area but that's how I was so impressed with Texas and I told Jonathan I was like we need to go to Houston imagine over there but you know we're not rich so <laughs> next year next year the second part of that question was do I plan on sticking to it um I do I think I'm gonna start taking it more seriously now just because I see how far I'm getting do you know what I mean and it's like why stop now like I'm already here, you know, like, let's just see how far it takes me. I don't really know how to contour, but I bronze with this. I still did my sponge here. Nothing has changed, so <laughs> don't mind me. Again, talk about YOLO. I know I always bring it up, but whatever. If life is giving you opportunity, why not take it? Why not? It's going to take time. It's going to take effort, you know, to keep, like, pursuing this, to keep trying. But not many people get it, so why not? So the second question is my dream job. Hmm. So before I started social media, ever since I was in school, marketing really stuck to me. My whole four years of high school, I always took a class like regarding marketing or business. Like that career path just always stuck out to me. I really liked it. The idea of marketing especially. And what's crazy is that I already had to think for it before I even had social media, before I actually got experience with it. So my OG career plan was marketing, but you know things are different now the whole four year six year eight year college thing was never for me i never liked the idea of college like ever i'd be like how am i gonna do it do you know what i mean like i don't have the money i don't want to devote my life completely like just put all my focus in social media in case it doesn't work out because you know i believe in plan b's and backup plans so i'm gonna go to community college i'm gonna go get my associates in business administration and after those two years if i think i still got it you know if i choose to still choose that path i'm gonna keep going it's risky for both no matter which one i choose at the end of the day but yeah that's what i plan on doing if that makes sense i don't know how to do like full full nose contour so for my nose i kind of like define it and shape it with the powder and the concealer my next topic, the one I've been looking forward the most, is girl advice, life advice, all of that. Okay, so one thing that was asked specifically is self-love tips. I didn't think that I carried myself this way, but I always get DMs and always get comments. Oh, how are you so confident? I love your confidences and that. And it's like, I didn't even know I had it. I definitely wasn't always like this, I will say. I don't know if you guys have been seeing on TikTok about the girlfriend effect, this and that, and then the boyfriend effect, how girls have a glow down. Mm, I don't know what boyfriends y'all got, but I got a glow up after I got with Jonathan. I was really crusty my freshman year. Dusty my middle school year. You know, but I feel like it was just an awkward phase. Everyone has it. Jonathan's always been like a fashion guy. You know, like he cares a lot about how he looks, you know, his shoes, his hair, all of that. And I feel like being with him just pushed me more to do that. You know, he'd be like, oh, you should try this, you should try that. Another big factor is the gym too because I was not built the way that I was built now. I had a very questionable build. <laughs> but I feel like self-love and confidence is like 80%, no wait. <laughs> but I feel like self-love and confidence confidence is like 20% like physical appearance on the outside and 80% mental. Do you have to be Delulu? Yes, 
Mm -hmm. You have to put yourself at the highest point of the world because the truth is nobody else is going to. And until you don't believe it, you're not going to start acting like it. Think of the person you love the most. How would you treat them? Treat yourself the way you would treat them. You know, because people think about self-love is, oh, being happy with how you look. I promise you there is not one single person in this world who wakes up every single day and it's like, damn, I'm good. Damn, I'm perfect. Damn, I'm... Like, no, everybody has their bad days just how you have your good days. So I don't want you guys to think like that me or like any other influencers wake up every day and they're like oh my god i'm so confident i'm literally so high you know like kissing the mirror because no ma'am especially during pms mm, mm, i feel the most hideous but again that's okay because think about it. if you're constantly pretty you know you just be basic you just be bored of yourself those days that you look your worst that you feel your worst are what makes your best days even better mm -hmm. like with sadness and happiness you can't have happiness without sadness like they need each other to balance each other out okay guys i'm gonna go with my blush Ooh, starting to run out but i feel like the most efficient and fastest way to you know be more happy with yourself is to romanticize your life i don't know if you guys saw my tiktok not too long ago talking about the pjs if you go to sleep feeling pretty you're gonna wake up feeling pretty tell me this doesn't look cute the little matching like you know what i mean i used to sleep with only adam sandler fits only big baggy basketball shorts with big t-shirts you know and i'd wake up and i'd be like mm, ew. but i just generally feel cute and it's like little things like this that don't cost much that you can change about yourself that make you feel better about yourself just try in your looks don't take this wrong but just try in your look because when you look good you feel good mm, and it radiates it shows now i'm gonna set my face with this hd powder Okay, so this is like my basic every weekend makeup or, you know, like if I'm going to go out shopping or something makeup. So I don't do much. I don't do anything with my eyes. I leave my eyes like this. I don't do eyeliner, none of that. So I'm going to move on to lashes. I got these last weekend and I'm so excited to try them. I hope they come out cute. They're looking kind of long, but we'll see. So the next question is body struggles. And I think you guys also asked for a workout routine, but I don't know how I would explain it with just words. I don't even know what the exercises are called. I'm gonna have to make a TikTok for y'all. I have gotten a workout routine question like for a while now, but I don't know. I felt like I didn't have the body. You know, I was like, who am I to come up here and be like, this is my workout routine when I look, you know, when my body isn't like crazy or something. But if you guys are asking for it, why not? But talking about body struggles, mm, it's a real thing. Like I mentioned before, my body used to look way different than it looks like now. Mm. And I hated it. I hated it a lot. It was a very, very dark moment for me. You know, being in middle school, not being able to do much about it, like, it messes with your head. But I started, I started going to the gym, like, in middle school, my freshman year. But I didn't do, I didn't take it serious. I just went, you know, I kind of just did one or two things. I didn't start putting a real effort in it until, like, two years ago, I want to say. And even then, I would slack. I don't know, my gym journey has been weird, you know, on and off. For like the past couple months right now, I've been doing pretty good. This is the longest I've stayed consistent. I also made like a set routine and everything and I've been seeing changes, I'm not gonna lie. So if I don't post it soon, I think I'll post it eventually when I get more results, like tell you guys if it actually works. In these four years, I tried a lot of different routines and all that. Um, maybe some did help, maybe some didn't. I started off with some really bad ones, but whatever. Okay, guys, I'm going to put them on and I need to shut up for this part. I need to focus. So they're definitely on the longer side, but they're pretty cute. I like them. So this is a Lily Lash and Tom Sephora collection. The name is 34th Street. The last thing that I want to mention is this other question that said clothing. Let me tell y'all. It doesn't matter how nice your body is, how you got a BBL. It doesn't matter. If you have the wrong clothing, you're not going to look good. My middle school and freshman year where my body wasn't the nicest, I was also wearing the wrong clothes. And that had to do a lot. American Eagle jeans, if you don't know, if you don't know about them, people sit here and talk about, oh, you need to know your body shape, pair, triangle, whatever. No, 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 no. They have too much compression, your stomach is going to stick out. Your long hair are going to pop out, even if you don't have any. If they're too big, they're going to look saggy and there's going to be no compression at all and you're going to look flat. Like, they have to have the right amount of compression. Make sure they're not too high-waisted because then you're going to look like a rectangle. Make sure they're not too low-waisted where your stomach's popping out. You know what I mean? I have a stomach. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, don't don't get all mad. Some of you guys really like your Shane jeans, you know, and all of this. And I don't know. I tried one pair and I, never, and I didn't really like them. 
so I didn't stick to them. But if there's one brand of jeans that I always wear and only wear is American Eagle. Because once you find your size, oh my god, it is life changing. The shirts, I don't have a certain brand that's my favorite that fits the best. I get like 90% of my tops from Shane. <laughs> so I personally think it's all in the bottoms. But let me just do this white eyeliner and finish my eyes. Oh my god. Now just a mascara. I don't know if I've been liking mascara on my bottom lashes lately. They make me feel like a doll. I don't know. I feel like my eyes look like this. They look huge. I mean, my eyes are already big, you know, and they just make them even bigger. This is a highlighter I use. I love it. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Upcoming events next month in October. Me and Jonathan are going to go to Mazatlan, Mexico. Mexico. Jonathan's never been to, like, an actual, actual beach ever. Like, he's never even traveled like that. So, you know... Being there for its first experiences is really nice. <sighs> I love traveling in general. Next year, I hope to have double the trips I had this year. I think I had a good amount this year. I don't think I've ever traveled that much in a year like I did this year. Oh, look at that. Wow. Ew. Last but not least, the lips. I used the NYX one shade brown. It's literally called brown. And this lipstick, that one still hasn't changed. Now, I go for both matte and glossy look. I can't choose between one. I wear both of them just as much. So first you're gonna outline. And then you're gonna go with the Kylie Jenner. Voila. Now, depending on what I'm feeling, I'll either leave it like this or I'll make it lighter by going in with a lighter lipstick. Or if I want a glossy, I'll go in with this one. I'm gonna brighten up a little bit. But yeah, this is my new lip combo. The one that I saw I was never gonna change. Now to top it all off, I'm gonna use this setting spray. I bought this expecting a lot of glitter. You know what I mean? Cause I love, like I love that glitter look all over, but it didn't have enough. So I went in with this and I poured like, you can see how much I poured. You can see how much of the bottle's gone. I just poured it in here and then yeah. But you gotta shake it because it does go to the bottom. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> this one always scares me. I don't know why. I don't like water. Like I don't like the idea of, you know. Pfft. My god, I remember Jonathan drenched me in this in the last video. That video was such a fail, but I still posted it, you know, because like it was my first time attempting that type of video. And I feel like I'm gonna wanna look back at it in the future. And this is a final makeup look. As you can see, the headband creased my hair a little bit, so I'm gonna have to go at it again with the straightener. If you're wondering what straightener I used, it's the Hot Tools Professional. Jonathan got it for me like two Christmases ago. And it beeps when it's ready. And then to control the heat, you just twist it like this. It's not sponsored, by the way. You know what? This video ain't sponsored. Mind your business, I'm just kidding. There you go. If anybody knows, how to make the frizziness go away please let me know that's always been an issue like no matter how much i burn it and i'm pretty sure it's because my hair is just like really really thick overall um and it does not last straight at all wait a minute oh wait guys this i know that this is like no progress at all like it literally looks the same but compared to how before like you couldn't even see that little line where is it that little creature like you could not see it was terrible but yeah guys this is my makeup routine i'm gonna change and actually record an outro okay guys hopefully you can see it well but should i get on the bed <sighs> oh um it's getting chilly and i've been waiting all year to bring this jacket out again i got it from forever 21 i'm pretty sure they did like a collaboration or something I don't know what shoes, but that's a later problem. What if it's hot outside? Ooh, the sun is out. I just checked outside and it's actually super hot, so I'm gonna put on this tube top. But yeah, that was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and until next time. Ooh.